Hey guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to stay notified when the next video is uploaded. Did... did you click it? Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Since my first Pixelmon tutorial did extremely well, I had no idea a lot of people wanted to learn how to get Pixelmon. Today I'm going to be going ahead and showing you guys how to get it for 7.0.6 and it's the new version of Pixelmon Reforged so make sure to go ahead and get this because most Pixelmon servers have updated to this brand new version. So there's going to be a link down in the description below where you guys can install Forge, press installer, and then you want to actually install it for clients. So I'm not going to go through it because I already have it. And then once you have all that, then you want to go over to Pixelmon Reforge. There's going to be another link down in the description below where you guys can go ahead and download Pixelmon. If you click download, there's only a version for 1.12.2. So make sure that you have Forge for 1.12.2. That's going to definitely help you out. And other versions of Forge are not going to work with this. So keep that in mind. Get 1.12.2. So right here, I have my mods folder a little bit more advanced than you guys. I have different versions of Forge, but you guys can just drag the mod inside of there. But keep in mind, if you want to install mods for different versions, you guys are going to need to go ahead and drag all the other mods out. Or you can just make folders like how I have it, which is actually really convenient. You can keep everything all in one. So after you have the mod pasted in, make sure to go ahead and open up Minecraft. Then go over to Installation. Then you want to go ahead and go over to new and if you don't have forge already you want to actually find forge so in this list you can find forge 1.12.2 here's what i wanted to go ahead and show you guys so if you click advance you actually really want to go ahead and do this so just view options that's what you really want to go ahead and do and for the jvm argument you want to go ahead where it says 2g it's probably going to default to 2g i want to go ahead and set it to 5g so once you go ahead and set it, well, depends on how much RAM you have. So I have 16 gigs of RAM. So it's actually pretty common for most computers to have 4 gigs. So keep that in mind. Take a look at your specs and you can actually see what you have. But I'm going to go ahead and set it to a modest 5 gigabytes of RAM. But most people don't have that. So let's go ahead and go over to the play. And we're going to go ahead and load up with Forge and you can find it over here. If that method did not work for you, I have something else. Technic is actually another mod launcher, so it's actually really cool. It launches mod packs, but if you type in Pixelmon Reforge on here, and all you really need to go ahead and deal with this is you need to sign in with your Minecraft account, and then it's going to allow you to load up any mod that you really want. Another way is actually Twitch. I believe Twitch actually does have mods as well, so keep all this stuff in mind. If you go over to the Mods tab and then go to Minecraft, you can install Pixelmon that way as well. So there's a bunch of different methods on getting these mods but whatever works for you guys will actually be the best and this one is actually a little bit harder for actually getting more ram to it so if you guys want to add more ram to your mod pack make sure to go ahead and go over to launcher options and then you want to go over to java and this is where it all happens so right here i have five gigabytes allocated to minecraft on this mod pack so basically what's going to happen is it's going to take five gigs and that's what it has to work with and you guys are not going to see too big of numbers so what you guys need to go ahead and do is you need to find a different version of java so as you guys know this isn't the right one and for some reason your computer just wouldn't come with it if you don't see any extra ones so you want to go ahead and go over to downloads so downloads is where you want to go I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. It's going to be called JRE. You're looking in the bin and you're looking for this Java right here, this one. And then you click on it and then you're going to have more RAM. It's going to allow you to use all your RAM for your PC, which is really helpful. This is also used for World Painter as well, where you need this Java. So make sure to go ahead and get this version. And then once you're done, click on play and I'll meet you guys once we are there. Okay, now that you have Pixumon, there's a single player experience or you could actually play on servers. I want to go ahead and disclose to you guys that this video is sponsored, but I wouldn't accept any sponsor without checking out their server first or just playing it and i've been playing for quite a bit now okay so i want to go ahead and show you guys all the pokemon that i have on this server so let's go ahead and start from the top so let's move all let's get to a good area actually so 
in this open or no let's go closer over to here and let's see if we could spawn all these pokemon i want to show you guys a little bit more of the town they have a bunch of different features that you guys should go ahead and check out let's go ahead and throw out shiftery obviously because i'm shiftery plays even though it's not spelled exactly the same i had to get one of these and it's shiny too which is pretty cool let's go ahead and go for our next pokemon which is going to be right here i need to show you guys charizard but real lord i legit got for the memes like this is the only reason why i have this like look at this guys so it's just that big it just keeps going to you and it's just not not a fun experience maybe it's good for battling honestly it's just for the xp but let's go ahead and put this back hold on radicate but yeah you can see you have like really cute pokemon like this and like just the animation for it is just so cute let's go ahead and check out the next pokemon i'm gonna throw it out right now and we actually do have reshiram so this is one of the two legendaries and i can actually hop on this and i can fly oh i did not mean to do that <laughs> uh yeah that was an accident i guess we can use some rare candies though but as you can see we have reshiram and charizard's gonna do the exact same so let's go ahead and get off this press shift to get on oh <sighs> that's a yikes okay um yeah apparently i forgot about fall damage in the game <laughs> Okay, so we're actually at the crate, so I'm actually really excited to see what we can get. I got some of my legendary Pokemon from the crate, so I have a diamond crate right now. So let's go over to here, and there's just a bunch of crates that you guys can go ahead and get. And it's just completely going through all the different options. What are we about to get? What are we about to get? We just got a Kyogre! What? We just got a Kyogre! Hold on! Okay, so that's obviously gonna go to our PC because our inventory is actually we just got a legendary See, that's how easy it is guys. Let's try this next one. I'm actually so excited Also, I want to mention that voting is something that you guys can go ahead and do to get a crate key Which is actually really cool and you can gamble for a Pokemon that way right here We actually do have the Ruby crate. So I'm actually excited to see what we can get Come on Oh we got a Mewtwo! We got a Mewtwo! <laughs> I'm gonna stop yelling, you guys, honestly. But we got a Kyogre and Mewtwo. As you guys could saw, you saw that there was like a bunch of different ones. There was Moltres, Zapdos, there was a Lugia in there. It was insane, guys. But I definitely recommend getting these crates because you can get really cool Pokemon out of this honestly okay so right here we're actually at the pokey center so this is actually an essential so right here we do have the pc as you can see here's my legendaries i wasn't kidding they actually went into my box as you can see here and i have a salamence that i'm not using at the moment Okay, so right here we actually have another cool feature. So instead of having a battle tower, battle frontier, we actually have the rocket tower. So this is actually pretty unique. And if you guys don't know what the battle tower slash rocket tower is in the actual Pokemon game, it's basically you keep battling until you can't battle anymore. Okay, so if you guys want to battle people, you just go over to the corner. So not this one, right over here, there should be a rocket run over here which is actually pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and you gotta throw your pokemon at them we just been thrown into a battle this is slaughter right here this is not even fear let's go ahead and fight let's hit him with that mud slap okay so magnitude and it just basically took it out i should have used that to begin with to be on or oh, hold, hold on let's use another magnitude because it is super effective because it is needle queen there we go oh wait hold on more pokemon okay you know what this is getting really annoying okay you know we're just gonna keep using magnitude i'm getting sick and tired of this oh hold on yikes let's go ahead and hit him with the mud slap and i am actually really bad at this like i know the moves but i don't know what happened hold on dynamic punch dynamic punch is or was it like focus i i need to actually look up on this but dynamic let's go ahead we have no more PP for Magnitude, so we're gonna actually have a problem here. So let's just keep going with Dynamic Punch. And oh, okay, yeah, Dynamic wasn't really Focus Punch where it charges for. Sorry, guys, I'm a little bit noobish on this. I've been 
kind of out of the Pokemon scene for a little bit now. Uh, just ignore my Pokemon channel, but let's go ahead and go over to here, and we're just gonna hit it with a dynamic punch. So I'm guessing this guy has a full team of six. Uh, we are really running out. I'm gonna have to switch, guys. I'm bringing out the Whale Lord. That's it, guys. I'm bringing out the Reshiram. Honestly, at this point, I'm just getting sick and tired of these Team Rocket grunts. And it just seems like we don't really have enough, like, PP for that power points. It's just not good. So, Dragon Rage, obviously, is going to take out 40 damage each time. So, these guys have more than 40, so let's be careful here. So, I think Dragon Pulse will be our best bet. We just keep going with Dragon Pulse. We should be able to go ahead and take out the rest of his team. I think we're actually going to go ahead and do a good job here. So, we did... He's just got taken out and as you can see they do have rewards for winning battles which is actually pretty cool so i can go ahead and take all which is actually a really cool feature and if you guys are weaker if you just have a charmander or whatever starter you pick this rocket tower is definitely going to be hard for you guys so keep that in mind and that's going to basically wrap up the video hopefully you guys like this hopefully you found this tutorial helpful make sure to go ahead and check out this server this is a really amazing server and i really do appreciate them for sponsoring this video because it's not always i get to actually do videos that i really enjoy and they're sponsored so i'll see you guys next time on the next video bye